your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosteru. Starting out your day again with cloudy skies out there this morning. However, temperatures are about 10 degrees warmer than what we woke up to yesterday. Everyone across the big country is in the 40s this morning. We're going to see those warmer temperatures translate into this afternoon as well. Unfortunately, still going to hang on to that cloud cover out there, they, though, as that warming trend continues into Wednesday. Highs for some of us tomorrow could push 70 degrees. A very weak cold front is going to move in early Thursday morning, only dropping us a degree or two for your Thursday afternoon plans. Seeing more sunshine out there. Though warm weather continues into Friday. In fact, that's going to be the warmest day we'll see all week long. Many of us will make it into the 70s out there, some of us even pushing the mid 70s. But this cold front that'll come crashing in Friday night, Saturday morning is really going to send temperatures plummeting now as we head into this weekend and staying very cold as we head through your weekend as well. So for Friday, we're seeing southwesterly winds bringing in that warmer air to much of the big country and much of the state ahead of that next cold front that's going to be moving in again overnight Friday. Into Saturday morning. This is midnight, early Saturday. Could see a few showers ahead of that front, mainly in the eastern and southeastern big country. We'll give a small chance for rain for that. But the main story is going to be the winds that'll come in behind this front. Very strong, especially on Saturday, with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. That's going to continue to bring in cold air through Saturday and into Sunday with the coldest of that air moving in Sunday morning. So this is a look at what some of those wind chills will be on Friday afternoon. We see some of the warmest temperatures will be in the mid 70s out there across the big country. But you can watch that cold air push its way in wind chills Saturday morning in the 20s across the big country with northerly winds sustained at close to 30 miles per hour. Gusts could be as high as 40 out there. The coldest of the wind chills are going to come in Sunday morning. Though check these out. We are going to be in the teens out there across the big country with wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour. Some of us, I think, off to the east and northeast could even see wind chills dip into the single digits as we head towards your Sunday morning plans. So some very cold air is on the way this weekend. And Enjoy the more mild air we'll see today. We're starting out with cloudy skies there this morning. Winds are going to be a little bit increasing through becoming breezier as we head into this afternoon. Temperatures making into the 50s across the entire region. Some of us off to the north could even break the 60 degree mark as we see more sunshine up there. 55 degrees for a high here in Abilene. Occasionally seeing wind gusts up to 20 miles per hour even into the overnight. Keeping temperatures again very mild, only falling into the mid 40s out there. Near 70 degrees tomorrow as we see those breezy conditions push in through the end of the week, helping to bring in that warmer air as we make it into the mid 70s on Friday. Just that small chance for rain overnight with that cold front. That'll keep us in the upper 30s Saturday and Sunday in the low 20s Sunday morning. Again, we could see those wind chills in the single digits for some. I'm pretty sure I see a 50 degree swing on there. 70 to 20 in about yeah. less than 48 hours. Pretty dramatic, isn't it? It is. Welcome <laughs> to Texas.